Hello viewers and welcome to Architect Wonderland for April Stake 3. So let's go and do it. And we have to capture 13 out of 14. As for this, this is one of those big major ice levels. Um Do you think that this entire scene looks a little sad familiar though for those people? Well, give this action enough space for a minute. Two couples on the end of the ship. No, no. You thought. No, they couldn't. Though they did. Fan. Fanatic. Get it. Like James Cameron Titanic. Ugh. Bad joke. Very bad joke. Now, if they ever saw that, people think that. Now that is terrible. Oh, oh, there's worse rip off the Titanic. I know. And yes, I do know about one particular thing in one of those rip off. And I'm not going to tell you that, okay? Because that thing is damn annoying. People do not want to know about that. I have, I never saw it as a kid. Never, never, never. I never knew that it existed. James Cameron would be, if he was dead, he'd be watching in his own grave for this. Hey, at least it's only just one minor thing. I'm not going to be that rude, okay? I do like his work, okay? And the boat returns. And with this making my, my making much more sense than in the last one. Let's see these giant colored device. You can use them, break them to get more and more power, or you or sometimes monkeys crash in the ice. Probably before the dawn of Ape Escape 1 or Ape Escape 2. At the time, the game was much better. That's still no logical sense on saying. How come that he can survive the very icy cold temperatures? Nobody cares, nobody asks. But I do. And yes, we have to fight a recolored design of the robotic elephant. And it still goes down the same way as it did in Monday the 16th. Or Boo Town, or something like that. Going night and smash the bad thing. Hey, at least. Hey, at least I'm just taking advantage of the weaknesses here. And he goes down like a... He still goes down terribly. And let's gather all the booty that we can find. No further monkeys here, so let's continue, shall we? And yes, the return of the wind. Forcing you to go back. And it seems there's a pair of pants here. And there's a naked monkey holding on to a hole in the wind.
not sure if you can still capture it while it's on the thing, but I kind of think it's more. But he's still easy to catch. And, um, and you could still just walk through it or super boost your way up there or it means that I could do whatever. And we're now at one of the most annoying parts. Climbing, going through this entire section of ice trying to capture one monkey without falling into the ice, the water, or burned by the machine. This ice skater can skate all the way through just fine. Well, that's damn annoying. I mean, I think you need to just make it work. And let's just have to make like the normal crashing thing. Or her in this case. And we're going to cut all the way to the other side. And now we're up the other side, break this ice to break free another monkey. And we're going to cut her in there. If he doesn't go back onto the ice bridge. And now with him finally caught, let's just go and do this last one. But I'm not sure if you are able to capture someone on film, but I screw up. But in order to summon him, summon the monkey, we just have to hit the top of the star, there's a switch, hit it, and he will come. Who? Santa Monkey. Santa Monkey. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a Christmas themed level, but I have no idea. I don't use this, but still we can get him on film now. Oh well, let's just catch her and, and I think I die if I recall. We have to capture him again. So I screw up and he kills me. So let's just have to move back in there with a gun. And the last one is in one of these presents, a angel. And we're done at last. This winter wonderland. I think there's a monkey on one of the bells, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But we're done at last. And so next time we'll do Mirage Town. <laughs>